We got the beat locked down in the chokehold. What's going on, everybody? Hello. Hello, hello. We are gonna be knocking it on out with the old Lash Depot here. We're gonna be grinding. The usual. Is she gonna be so good? Ivory Ring of Insulation. I wonder if we'll get the things we're looking for today. I doubt it, but you know. You never know until you get, you know, get to get to grind and get to farm. And... Do 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 do. Yeah, we're just doing some chill grinding with the necromancer. It's gonna be a good time. Hopefully everyone's having a good day. We're apparently just gonna yawn into your ears. It's gonna yawn right in your face. Well, okay. 
sure. Tome of Elements, a Drawl Sting. Hakar's Phoenix, one to Primalist melee attacks. When a companion is downed, it automatically revived after two seconds. When a companion is revived by Hakar's Phoenix, it releases a burst of flames and gains 100 melee fire damage and 100% ignite chance for 20 seconds. Wow. So... You want your companions to die? Seems weird. trying to parse whether or not I could actually do that thing. Chance to apply frailty on it. I actually like that sword. I'm gonna pick that up. to attunement. That's not necromancer safe. Ever since we capped our resistances, I've been in a really good space. Really good place. A lot more survivable. I definitely need more um, crit reduction. Melee damage, increased minion damage. Percent of melee damage leached his health. Chance to bleed, chance to ignite on hit. Oh, meh. I guess. So much crit strike avoidance. I need a lot of that. <gasps> well, I gotta stop yawning. I literally just started. Chill, brain, chill. Regalia of holy crap. Look at that necrotic damage.
I wasn't sure if I was going to have to turn off the camera for a minute there. That water decided to have a mind of its own and just go where it pleased. I did not. It did not please me. Not happy. I feel like the frequency of... I feel like the frequency of Nemesis bodies should be gradually increased as you get further on. Like, by the time I'm level 70, I should be getting a Nemesis body... Not, not like every map, but probably every four or five, like guaranteed. Cause I mean, come on, come on. There's just no reason that I should have to hunt this stuff so insanely. How big is this gosh dang map? Okay. <clears throat> nah, plus poison. Plus poison damage. Tough. No. Not necessarily the worst thing I've ever seen. 92% chance to blind on hit. I don't know, I kind of want to try making something out of that. But also, seems like garbage. It's tough to tell sometimes.
I don't really have anything in mind class-wise that I would... Like, use that for or anything. Whoa, hey there, bud. Okay. Health regen per second, armor, mana. I... Yeah. No, 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 no. No, it's close, but no. I'm sad. I think this is my hardest hitting, best geared, um, my best geared necromancer. threshold that's a lot of ward decay threshold health gain on block fizz resist fire resist That's actually nice. I've wanted to try and make a really good tank build for this game. Maybe something like a Thorns? Like a blocking Thorns build or something like that. Oh my god, look at that intelligence. Holy crap. That's a really good piece, but I don't know what I would do with it. I guess I can take it in case I ever do a bleed build.
Increased physical. No. If only I had gotten that tier 6 roll on my wand. Oh, or, God forbid, a tier 7 spell and bow damage for my minions. Oh my god. The damage. Would have been insane. Yes, immerate my foes. Yeah, no, the 142 minion health regen is too good. Oh, you know what? There it is. The final six potential. Just a little bit more there. Five, 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 four. It, it just auto-takes all the rest of the forge potential if it finishes it. I feel like that's the thing. It's pretty cool. Nope, it retained it. speed all right there we go That's a full set drop. That's not. <laughs> no. Lighted katana. No. Malin's hubris. Fire damage over time, vitality, intelligence. 100% of bleed chance converted to ignite, huh? Anyway. Seems like you got a little confused there, bud. Whoa. 
wild. The game is wild. They need to do what they did with Diablo, but with this game. The set items, the uniques, the whatever, like, they need to be build-defining. Outrageously build-definingly good. chance? Uh, no. I would like to hope that the items that drop have some relevance. There is no way. Right? There's no way here. Hold. Of course there isn't. Okay, bye. I don't know what kind of idiot I'd have to believe, or be, to believe that there was a chance that it was going to hit anything other than crit strike avoidance or the other one there. But I felt I had to try anyways, you know? Sometimes you just want to have that blind faith. into this phantom grip plus one to all minion skills okay already starting off strong critical strike minion crit strike chance increased mana necrotic damage for forged weapons forged weapon duration stats on your gloves apply to your forged weapons at 74 percent effectiveness wow that's quite nice not what i need but wowee thanks Holy crap! You putting all them uniques over here for something special or what? Take the rest of this dungeon apart.
Yeah, no, um... No nemesis bodies for us. That sucks. Oh my gosh. Okay. Set items. Invokers. Neat. You know what? Why not? Let's go up this way. Go for the sight lines. That was a quick one. <laughs> Plague Dragon's Tongue. 44% chance to summon a locust on hit with Serpent Strike. Max 3 per 2 seconds. Oh. Okay, so one and a half per second. Plus three to maximum locusts. Yeah, sure. Plus five to poison skills. Dang. There is, unfortunately, no chance with only 19 forge potential. I mean, to be fair, it's not that there's no chance, it's just unbelievably low. Follow, but appreciate it. Did my they didn't? There it is. There we go. Hold on, I'll replay that one because it didn't do the thing because I didn't have it on. Because I'm mean, yet, yeah, it's, it's supposed to do the job for me. There we go. Wow. Fancy. <laughs> wow.
still looking for a very specific item to drop. And it's not that. Nor is it that. And it's not that. I'm looking for a ring that summons the, um... The volatile zombies automatically. I believe it also gives a few levels to the volatile zombies, which is supremely helpful. Hello there. Oh! An egg of the forgotten. Wraith Lord's Harbor. Plus one to summon Wraith, increased movement speed, eight minion melee speed, spell, or melee damage, spell damage. Casting summon Wraith instead summons a Wraith Lord. The Wraith Lord scales with your summon Wraith tree and summons other Wraiths for you while in combat. While at max Wraiths, the Wraith Lord casts necrotic beams and regularly consumes your non Wraith minions to empower itself. Gaining temporary maximum health equal to 10% of their maximum health. And plus 3 spell damage for 10 seconds. It does not stack. Plus 3 spell damage? Uh, what? Are you serious? There's no way that that's helpful, right? Like, that's, that's either got to be a typo. Or... Huh? How did that pass quality checks? That thing's a bit of garbage. Just on that alone. Like, that's just terrible. Oh my god. I have access to my entire... Holy crap! I didn't realize my whole stash was available for this. That's actually clutch. Wow, we. Okay, bud. Uh, no legendary potential or weaver's will, which is fine. I just gotta think, what do I wanna try and take a stab with? I guess I can go for the forged weapon ring. You will not get this item back until you challenge and defeat the nemesis. Empowering it will not grant you the item back until it, you challenge it next time. You may be without this item for an extended period of time. Like I am without my reading ability. <laughs> okay, what do you guys have? Cold damage, damage over time for minions, shred armor. That thing pretty much sucks. It's pretty terrible. Uh huh. Cold melee damage, poison on hit. You know, other than the cold damage, it's actually not bad. But also. Got my face. Jesus. See ya, bud. Sorry you got deleted so instantaneously. Okie doke, pal. It's a tough day. It eludes me. Face shrine. Yes. 
All right, full clear. We're good. We did it. We did it. The big one. The big one. We've got decent clear speed, that's for sure. I think the only thing that'll be holding us back is going to ultimately be um, survivability. Yeah, it's definitely going to be survivability. I need crit strike avoidance. Once I get 100% crit strike avoidance, I will be in the best shape. Yes, yes, I know. Always too much. You're too much. Did you consider that? Oof. Yowza. Okay, bud. You don't gotta hit me like that. I get it. You're upset. I understand. You don't like the way my zombies vomit on everybody? That is a fair that is a fair thought to have. But did you consider that you're an enemy? Hmm? Did you consider it? Ninety one percent increased minion damage. Okay. Crit avoidance. Okay. All right. So, the big question, the moment of truth. Am I going to throw this to the void or not? Yep. Straight to the void with you. All right. Good to know. Yep. That one just gets to go in the box. All right. Moving on. For those who may not have seen it, what happened there was I used a rune of removal to take away an affix. I was aiming for specifically kind of anything that wasn't the um, exalted affix there. Unfortunately, it hit the exalted affix. Uh, I would have preferred the other prefix, but it didn't give me any of the above. It just took away my exalted affix, which I didn't like at all. And then I decided to feed it to a Rune of Ascendance. Because those are good for farming rings. Particularly the ring that I would like.
Oh, buddy. Wait here for a second. Let my health come back. And then keep on rolling. I have a feeling there's not... Wait, did we already get one here? Or was that the last area? I can't remember. Oh, crap. It's got armor. It's got percentage endurance. Endurance threshold. The thing that sucks is that those are all tier 1 and tier 2 prefixes, or affixes in general, which... Ugh. The thing that ruins this is the lightning resist. My current gloves have too much void resist to want to get rid of. It's so much. As much as I would love to, the only thing going for the... Well, not the only thing, but the major thing going for these is their endurance threshold. And that is not enough as it is. The only thing I could kind of do is throw a rune of removal at it, see if I hit the uh, lightning resistance. I did not. They're going on the ground. All right, well, now we know. It's what I love about this game. The crafting is so simple. I don't have to... I don't have to roll a bunch of weird crap in 15 different possible ways to maybe end up with yada yada yada. It's just like, this thing says it removes an affix, okay. There it is. Very straightforward. It tells me exactly what it's gonna do and then it does it. Amazing. That's what I didn't like about Path of Exiles crafting. The, the crafting was kind of intentionally obtuse. It was just very difficult to figure out or to want to invest in. Really kind of sucked. And then you get, you get into this and it's just very straightforward. Very simple, very clean. Use this one to take them off. Use these ones to put them on. Easy piece. Shadow beacon, huh? Void skills. Nice. My uh, yeah. Well, that went. That is a set of Xerix, which we've got a few. Four of them, in fact. Plus an extra belt. Doesn't look like it gave me anything interesting. Sure, why not? Turn the camera off for a bit and just mega chill.
Yes. I'm chilled way, way back in my chair now. I guess I could turn the cam on. It doesn't make much difference. I'm still just mega big time chilling. That's the kind of guy I am, especially this late at night. My, my energy at this point in my day is far different from what you get from my YouTube. My YouTube is usually recorded in the morning when I'm just big energy. And I've got a lot of oomph going on. At night, I tend to be very calm, relaxed. It's been a long day. I'm trying to chill out and not get so wild with it. Okay, Sanguine Horde. Chance to bleed. Oh, okay, so that's the Hail of Arrows thing. Yep, I got it. Okay. For sure, I just kind of stream because I love streaming. I love being here. I love doing this. It's my jams. Crit chance, crit multiplier, chance to bleed, and chance to shred armor on hit. That's some big armor shred chance there. Is that worth? Eh? Not really, it's all tier ones other than that one piece. No... We're pushing all the wrong buttons. Throwing ascendance on this. What did we get? Another quicksilver coil. Heck yeah, dude. Can I get 12 more of those? Thank you. Necrata can spell. Void resist. Nope. Oh. Not today. Bones. Okay. Void resist, endurance, plus the skeletal mage. Oh, okay, bud. Can I lose that percentage? I can't. But I'm gonna do it anyway. The only thing that sucks about this is literally the curse damage. Because I don't use curses. What I could do, though, is get rid of that... You know, I could shatter this, actually. Yes. Level of Summon Skeletal Mage Shard. Yes. 
Now that's what I want. I want a lot of that, in fact. Okay, dope. Wow, that is a lot of damage that was just flying around. Oof, chill, dude. Plus three to Ghost Flame. Not entirely sure why I care about that, but kind of do. Ghost Flame, right there. Channel to release a continuous jet of horrid flames in front of you, dealing fire and necrotic damage over time. It's pretty good. 2,700 damage per second, and that's with my current not focused on that at all build. I could see that doing a lot of damage. Okay, so, I'm sorry about that, my nose decided to be a total traitor. <laughs> Apologies. Gosh dang nose. Um, that's what I was intending to do, just take a nice big breath so I could speak. Uh, right. Anyways... Don't know why I'm looking at those things. This is okay. I mean, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. Void resist, health. <sighs> I don't know if it's really worth picking up, though. It's the hard part. Sometimes these things, you see them, and you're like, Oh, man, that's so good. I want to put that on absolutely nothing. And then you don't do it because you didn't want to do it in the first place. But I end up picking up some of that stuff anyways because for whatever reason, I'm kind of a yutz. I like that all resist affix. I'm gonna shatter that. Heck yeah, plus two all resist shards. That's something right there. That is something right there. Ads coming up in a second here. I'm gonna pause for those as soon as they pop. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and just do it right here. Because I'm sure that any second now those are gonna decide to take on. So I'm gonna look at build optimization. Oh, 
Let's see. Aegis of Death, no. Don't need that. No Dread Phalanx. Don't get me wrong, I like the idea of Dread Phalanx. But also Shrug. They die, no. Soul catcher, no. I don't understand these builds about like mass summoning skeletons. I guess you could forego all forms of health regen and health bonuses for just like raw glass cannon style play so you summon them they shoot like an ability and then they die right and that's like the whole thing i guess that seems mediocre on a good day i don't know So much happening with this build. There we go. No more ads. We're good. Um... Hmm. Haunting is okay. Ooh. Do not see a red very often. Yeah. Skeletal mage damage specifically. Necrotic poison intelligence. Oof. I can't sacrifice that much void. Boy, do I wish I could. For poison necrotic? I don't know, man. I could try and roll something off of it, but... It's probably not gonna go well, if I'm honest. Uh, let's see. Yep, it could have hit either one of the resistances. It chose not to. I don't understand their system of runa removal. I know it's a an equal chance, but it always seems to be the wrong choice. It's just like literally never the right choice. I've never had a, a rune of removal take away something that I wanted it to. Even when like that, there's a 50-50 chance that it could remove something that I would find in some way beneficial. Doesn't matter. 
Does not matter. Does not hit. It makes me sad every time. Abacus rod, rune bolts, element always matches the last skill you use directly that had a single element tag. Rune bolts that have a different element to the last rune bolt you cast. Grant you a stack of numeromancy up to five and refresh the duration of existing stacks. Five percent increased cast speed per stack of numeromancy. Five spell damage per stack of numeromancy. Okay, so that encourages you just using like the rune bolt spell and spamming it, which is kind of neat. Here, use this non-element specific ability. Seems okay. need to remember to keep up the summon volatile zombies. Alright, alright. That place. Relic. The ambit of an erased rogue. Plus one to rogue skills. One in six chance to take 24% less damage per active shadow. Okay. I like that. Those are really nice. Hey, an arena. Okay. Sign me up. I actually really enjoy arena. I wonder if the nemesis things can spawn in here. Genuine curiosity. There's both of the shrines. Far no luck with the old, uh, the old ring. Unfortunate.
Wait, the... Huh? Okay. So the box shows up as a unique on the map, but doesn't give a unique. Okay. Don't know how I didn't notice that the first time, but apparently I didn't. the enemies to locate the bacon but once we have the bacon we're in small Lagonian I don't know stun avoidance elemental what is this no Ugh, the curse damage. Leave me alone. Nope. I think this is going to end up as the last map for tonight. For sure going to end up as the last map for tonight. Quite the long day. And so I appreciate it all the more when it's been a long day and people come and hang anyway. Thank you so much. I appreciate the time you chose to spend here, friends. But that's going to wrap this adventure to a close. I hope you have a wonderful remainder of your day. And until the next one, friends. Take care of yourselves, be good to each other, and keep moving forward. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. I'm surrounded, but the echo feels so empty. I've made my way through caves, and this place feels the same to me. Why can't I hold on to the visions that you left? Why can't I take on I see you on the other side It's been a long ride And I'm thinking of you All the time But I've got a feeling That I'll find you When we last say goodbye It's been a long time Since we held our hands 
give you my all.